Hello champions and welcome back to my playlist of 5090 Cambridge O-Level Biology. We are studying chapter number 1 from Hodder's Biology, which is the recommended resource by Cambridge International. Today we are going to discuss about a very, 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 I think I have said it 4 times, very important 5 times now, very important topic. This topic is the difference between animal and plant cells. In almost every Cambridge exam, they talk about uh, the differences between animal and plant cells. So in previous video, we have been talking about the structures which are common to both animal and plant cells. And then we had a separate video in which we discussed what are the special features of a plant cell. Now we are going to talk about in this tabulated form, in this table, we are going to discuss that what are the features which are present in animal and plant cells both and then what are the features which are present only in the plant cell so this video basically you have to watch with the previous video so that you have the basic understanding of what we are talking about so there are features in a cell which are common in both animal and plant cell so this first uh, column is telling you that we are dividing this whole information into two parts this line is the division line and anything written above this line is common in both animal as well as plant cell and anything written below this line is specific a special only for the plant cell okay so with this uh, concept let us start discussing what are the features which are present in both animals and plant cells now here you see the name of the column is name of the part so for example cytoplasm cell membrane nucleus these are the words that you have already uh, studied with me in my previous videos so now you tell me i ask you that cell membrane is present in animal cell or plant cell or both so your answer should be it is present in both and therefore the cell membrane is listed in animal and plant cells column both okay so cell membrane is a feature of both animal and plant cell cytoplasm is a feature of both animal and plant cell nucleus is present in both animal and plant cell mitochondria is present in both animal and plant cell as well as ribosome these two are basically small factories and the small factories are called organelles we have discussed this in the previous video so mitochondria and ribosomes are also both present in animal and plant cell so all all these how many are they in total I think they are six one two three four five so all these five structures structure number one structure number two is structure number three and structure number four and structure number five all these five structures are common in animal and plant cells so they are not uh, the differences when they ask you differences these are not one of the differences okay these are common so cytoplasm we know that is a jelly like um, liquid with particles and organelles inside okay so that's the description and where is it found it is enclosed by the cell membrane you know already that if this is the cell and this is the nucleus here we have the cell membrane here we have the nuclear membrane in between is the cytoplasm so it is enclosed by the cell membrane and you know what is the function of the cytoplasm it contains a lot of organelles which i told you are small factories these are small factories and each factory does something it produces something for example one of the factory is mitochondria and one of the factory mitochondria produces energy for your body so organelles produce something and mitochondria for example produces energy okay and they help in different chemical reaction so all this row should be everything written in this table should be very clear to you everything written in this each and every column and row should be clear to you so the first thing which is common to both animal and plant cell is the cytoplasm it is a jelly-like substance which contains organelles it is found within the cell surrounded by the cell membrane and the organelles performs the job and a lot of chemical reactions okay so this line is all clear now let's move on to the second structure which is cell membrane cell membrane is also present in both animal and plant cells it is partially permeable 
the other word for this is semi permeable the other word for this is selectively permeable so you can use any of these terminology and all of them mean the same thing and the meaning is that some of the substances will pass through the cell membrane and others will not okay so it's a partially permeable membrane that forms the boundary around the cytoplasm okay we know this already where is it found around the cytoplasm and what is the job i told you the function of the cell membrane is to prevent the contents from escaping and to control what is entering into the cell see my previous videos on the structure of cell membrane so this column is all very clear okay now the third thing that we have to discuss is nucleus now tell me nucleus is present in animal cell or plant cell or both so your answer should be it is present in both now nucleus is a circular or oval structure it contains chromosomes and dna and it is present inside the cytoplasm obviously this is the nucleus so it is present within the cytoplasm so that's the nucleus and the job there are two functions i told you the first function was it is the master regulator it controls protein formation it is master regulator it controls protein formation it controls enzymes formation so that is job number one the other job of the nucleus was cell replication your nucleus controls replication okay so the job of the nucleus is um, it controls cellular activities development and cell division nucleus okay this column done and dusted so what we are discussing basically we are talking about what are the structures which are common to both animal and plant cells cytoplasm is present in both cell membrane is present in both nucleus is also present in both animal and plant cell now the mitochondria now mitochondria is a very important factory in your cell it's a very very important organelle why i'm saying so because its job is important it produces energy so if we have a cell here and there is a nucleus here this organelles which also contains a membrane uh, basically is lying within the cytoplasm and it produces energy and energy in the body has a specific name it is called a t P. so this is the energy of the body and we use this ATP molecule for all the functions for digestion for respiration for walking for running for eating for anything we need energy and this energy is in the form of ATP so mitochondria is a circular or oval slipper shaped organelle it is present in the cytoplasm and is responsible for aerobic respiration aerobic means it requires oxygen and respiration means it produces energy which is known as uh, atp we will later on discuss that the full form of atp is adenosine triphosphate but for now just remember that mitochondria produces atp or energy okay in the presence of oxygen the fifth structure which is common to both animal and plant cell is the ribosome and ribosome's job is to produce protein i told you in my previous lecture that all the organelles are small little factories and in each factory there is something which is produced so factory number one is mitochondria which produces energy factory number two is called ribosome and ribosomes help in the production of proteins very very important okay now ribosomes protein synthesis the ribosomes are also present inside the cytoplasm they are small circular structures attached to the membranes or they are lying free so sometimes they are attached on the membranes such as nuclear membrane or membranes of some other organelles there is an organelle which is called endoplasmic reticulum sometimes it is present on its membrane and they are also present free in the cytoplasm okay so all these structures all these five structures are common to both animal as well as plant cell now let us talk about something which is specific for plant cell and we have already talked about them in the previous video so in plant cell three specific characters are cell wall a big large vacuole and photosynthesis uh, performing chloroplast cell wall is a tough non-living layer made up of cellulose it surrounds the membrane and it is freely permeable which means it allows everything it does not uh, select molecules that hey you can go inside you cannot like cell membrane cell membrane was semi permeable or selectively permeable or partially permeable but the cell wall is fully permeable it allows everything 
okay but it obviously protect the plant cells it's a tough layer and its function is to prevent the plant cells from bursting it's a very very tough layer so cells are very very rigid okay and where is it present it is present around the outside of the plant cells you remember we discussed this diagram in the previous video so that is the cell wall cell wall is present outside the plant cell so that cell wall is present only in the plant cells it is not present in animal cell so this is the major 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 difference okay the big large vacuole which is filled with the liquid is known as the cell sap is present in the plant cells only um, please remember that don't say that vacuoles are only present in plant cell because vacuoles are also present in animal cells what we are saying is that a large vacuole is only present in the plant cell okay so that there is a difference between the two statements one statement is vacuoles are only present in small in plant cells that's a wrong statement because vacuoles are also present in animal cells small vacuoles but this statement is correct listen to this large vacuoles filled with the sap are only present in plant cells so that's the correct statement okay now this vacuole is fluid filled and the fluid is basically known as sap it is present inside the cytoplasm but i mean you see come on it is yes present inside the cytoplasm but it pushes the cytoplasm to the very side and the cytoplasm now is very very small and shrunken okay and what is the job of the vacuole it contains salts and sugars helps to keep the plant cells firm and the third thing which is present only in plant cell is the chloroplast it is an organelle which contains uh, chlorophyll this green color material it is present inside the cytoplasm and the job of the chloroplast is to perform photosynthesis which is to make glucose c6 h12 and o6 which is the formula for glucose so basically all the food production in the plant happens in this small little factory which is called the chloroplast. So chloroplast is a very important factory which produces food particles in plants, photosynthesis, okay? So this table is an extremely important table for you because this table describes what are the features which are present only in the plant cell, these ones, these ones, these ones, and what are the features which are present in both animal and plant cells. So watch this video again and again, share with your colleagues, and I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Take care of yourself.